A local church opening its doors in hopes of changing the community. In tonight's Save KC report, Ariel Rothfield shows us how a hot meal and a place to hang out can help teens avoid violence. The search for something to do can often be a challenge. We have a little bit of trouble finding places. But on Friday night, inside St. Regis Academy, that challenge was no match. This is Lights on KC, a big night in and a solution to a big problem. We're concerned about the violence in our city. And these kids are too. So many people are dying for no reason. In Kansas City, one third of all homicide victims and suspects are in their teens or early 20s. I wish that it would stop. So on this night for every middle schooler, instead of a street, there's an open auditorium with games instead of gangs and guns warm food instead of fights. We need to come up with ways that will help prevent violence in our city. This program was modeled after one in Newark, New Jersey. The goal is to have something like this every fourth Friday. But not just here. We need more of this around Kansas City. Those in charge say they're hopeful. It's really an anti-violence program. And these teens, well, they are too. If we come here and it's like consistency, it will be like something to do. Reporting in Kansas City. That's what's at the heart of it all. Hallelujah. Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. That is incredible. While Lights on KC is just getting started with three three events, it hopes to follow Westside High School in Newark, which has served more than 20,000 kids and provided more than 600 hours of activities for them. Events and groups like this, people like the ones you just heard from, they're all helping make Kansas City safer for all of us. And we want to hear more stories just like that. If you know someone working toward that goal, send us an email. We'd love to share their story. Send us an email, safekc at kshb.com.